What's up guys and welcome. Today I will show you a movie called The Wretched. Spoilers ahead. This movie starts off as a young guy named Ben goes to Nebraska for the summer as his parents are getting divorced and want to spend time with his father. After he goes to Nebraska he starts to work for his father at the marina to keep busy and there he meets a girl the same age named Malari. Meanwhile a mother and her son were taking a hike in the woods near the area and get lost. While the mother was trying to take a pee break from all the walking, the son wanders off and finds a strange symbol on a tree which he takes a picture off. While doing that he hears his mother's voice with different emotions and tone calling by his name from a tree with a big hole near it. Watching the tree closely he sees a pale white fingers coming from the hole and as soon as he sees that his real mother comes and grabs him telling him not to go off on her like that. When arriving at home it is shown that the mother has another child and a husband. She tells her husband that she has caught a deer on her way home which she accidentally hit with her car and wants to show her older son how to gut an animal. But as soon as she is outside with her son showing him how to do it, it is revealed that the deer insides and guts is rotten and smelly. When the day was over at night Ben is trying to play guitar outside but couldn't due to his arm being in a cask. So as he is looking around he notices the mother and her husband are on the other side of the house which lets him know that they are his neighbors. Then as the night goes by a creature comes out of the deer's gut which was left on the mother's truck. While Ben was sleeping he hears a noise coming from the roof so he decides to get up and check out where the noise was coming from. So he grabs his flashlight and goes outside and starts searching. While he was doing that he finds a big hole under his neighbor's porch which made him suspicious. Trying to figure out what the hole was doing there he sees a figure in the dark. When trying to figure out what it is a bright light shines right into his eyes and turns out it is the husband of the house. He then proceeds to ask Ben what he is doing there. He tells him that he is just searching for an animal and goes back to his house. In the morning when Ben leaves for work with his dad he sees Dylan playing with a hole he found last night. Ben then warns the child to stay away from the hole. While working Ben finds out that Malari has a little sister named Lily. Meanwhile Ben's neighbor is shown playing with her baby while her husband is at work. She finds out that almost all her flowers are dead in which she gets curious about but instantly forgets it due to her baby diaper smelling. When it got dark Ben goes to a party with Malari to enjoy his free time. Back at the neighbor's house it is seen that the mother is awake by her old son and decides to check on her young baby. When she gets to her baby's room she sees that the baby has been replaced with a bunch of tree branches which made her afraid instantly. While processing that emotion something grabbed her feet and dragged her under the bed. When Ben goes back to his house from the party he sees his the mother walking towards the woods. In the morning Dylan notices that his mother's acts different so he decides to go to Ben's house because he got scared. When Ben comes home he finds the kid sitting upstairs in his room. As Ben questions him why he is here he starts to tell him everything. While they were talking the kid's mother starts calling Dylan and then Ben decides to go to talk with the mother. While talking to her he can also tell the mother is acting very weird and right at that moment the mother's husband comes and interrupts the two talking. Filled with excitement Dylan runs up to him and together they all leave Ben's house. Ben then decides to spy on his neighbor's house. While spying he can see that the husband is clapping the cheeks of his wife the next day Ben is looking for Dylan at the marina but couldn't find him so he goes to his home to find out what happened. The father was home and when Ben asks him where Dylan is the father tells him he doesn't have any children which leaves Ben confused. Before leaving the house of the neighbor Ben finds a weird symbol under the mat of the front door and he starts researching. He discovers that she can jump into people's skin and pretend to be them and salt is her weakness. When Ben was spying as usual he sees the mother coming out of her cellar so he decides to go to the cellar. While there he finds a weird skull on top of a stacked tree branches and a photo of the mothers and her family with their faces scratch off. He also sees a photo of Malari and her sister which he instantly knew that they were the next target so he decides to go after them. When calling Malari to ask about her little sister she tells him that she doesn't have any sister so he goes to the marina. When arriving he sees Lily and the mother walking towards the forest. When running and arriving towards them he hears a screaming coming from a tree and watches Lily getting pulled inside a big hole. Trying to pull her out of the hole he hits his head and gets knocked out. When he wakes up it was dark so he gets back to his house and he sees his dad and his new girlfriend waiting on him with some cops. Because the mother has told his dad about the cellar break-in and she has called the cops. When his dad confronts him about it Ben tells him about the mother and what she has done but the dad gets mad and decides take Ben back home. 
while the dad is talking to the cop Ben starts talking to his dad's girlfriend and notices that the flower on the kitchen window is withering so he immediately knew who it was and throws salt at her and he notices how her face changes into a monster so he grabs a knife and injures her hand but the creature face gets back to its human form and pretends to cry. The dad gets back and sees what happens so the cops decide to take him in. While Ben is sitting in the cop car he sees the creature whispering to the cop so Ben starts screaming to his dad for him to check out the cellar of the neighbors. When Ben was going to the station his dad decides to check the cellar as his kid told him to. Still in the car Ben notices that the cop's ear is bleeding and they just pass the cop station so he asks the cop where he is going but the cop just drives and then stops in the middle of nowhere. He then drags Ben outside and tries to drown him but got saved by the cop's dog. Then the cop just shoots his own dog. When he knew he couldn't control himself he shoots himself. Ben then goes back to his dad with the cop's gun. While the dad is checking the cellar he finds dead bodies and photos of his family with scratches on their faces. Out of nowhere his girlfriend stabs him in the back wearing that weird looking skull. The dad tries to escape but gets strangled by his girlfriend. During the struggle Ben comes in and shoots her multiple times and puts her down. Then Ben and his dad got in the car trying to leave the house. All of a sudden Ben watches his cask and realizes there is a name written on there which he now remembers that it is his brother's name which he forgot about but now remembers. So Ben decides to prepare and find out what happened to his brother. While preparing Malari comes in and asks him about her little sister which he then explained what happened. During this time Molari decides to go with Ben and his father in the forest where he saw Lily last time to look for her sister too. When arriving in the forest Ben sees a big hole near the tree and decides to get in. While under there he finds out that the creature has Nathan and Lily in there and that it needs children as a food to stay alive. Ben shoots it multiple times again and then made sure his little brother and Lily got out but as soon as he got out the hole the creature grabs him by the foot and tries to pull him inside. But out of nowhere Ben's dad comes in driving full at speed and hits the creature and killing it. After all that was over it's shown that Ben and the gang had burned the tree in the hole. Now it was time for Ben to go back to his hometown where he came from so as he is saying goodbye to Mallory. She gives him a flower as a reminder not to forget her. Then halfway on the road Ben realizes that the flower is fake and ideas start to run in his head. In the end it is shown that Mallory is now on a boat in the middle of the ocean with a bunch of children suggesting that the creature has taken the form of Mallory. The End Thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe as it means the world to me. Until the next time.